Hi friends, welcome to this channel. Factor analysis already performed with the help of other applications like SPSS, MS Excel, R, and Open Access Statistical Tool applications. We get all results in ready-made way. We are using with the sum, sum proof, and interpreting the same. But many people are interested in knowing how these scores or values are calculated. In this way, I attempt my level best to bring the manual calculation easily to understand it intuitively. KMO, Kaiser Mayer Olkin introduced the measure of sample adequacy in factor analysis. The formula for KMO is grand sum of correlation coefficient divided by grand sum of correlation plus grand sum of anti-image. Correlation is the coefficient of the two variables relationship. Anti-image is the sample adequacy of every variable. KMO is sample adequacy of overall data set for factor analysis. So let us see one by one. First we should have the correlation matrix. Before that let us see the data. The data is entered in both MS Excel and the SPSS. The total number of respondents is 290 and data collected with the help of Likert 7 point scale disagree completely in one extreme and agree completely in other extreme. First, I have color, taken the correlation matrix and then we move, go for calculating its value. First is sum of square. There is a function in a Excel. We can use it directly. Copy and paste. We have found out the sum of every variable and we go and find the grand total. Now we have to see this is the correlation coefficient of all variables and it includes the particular variables score that is 1 of every variable. So there are 10 variables. So we reduce from the score that is 10. So actual score of correlation matrix is 24.16. Then the second step is to find out the inverse. In Microsoft Excel, there is a matrix function m inverse function. We select all the values of correlation matrix and press shift control and enter we get reverse matrix all and third step is to find out the diagonal matrix diagonal matrix is formula equal to 1 by square root of inverse value of that diagonal item here diagonal only we are going to paste or calculate the value and remaining we fill with zero and then the anti image let us move to anti image we have point out correlation matrix image matrix and 1 by square root of diagonal and the anti image the formula is anti image the diagonal 
into the inverse matrix into diagonal. So, this multiplication in matrix form that is to be done in uh, MS Excel matrix multiplication, matrix multiplication in two kinds. So, the first equal to MMALP of first we have to select the diagonal matrix comma inverse matrix close brackets again we put first matrix and the second matrix again diagonal value now press control shift enter control Shift enter F2. We get this value after finding the anti image. We do the same process that is a sum square of all values. Find the total score minus ten. Now find the KMO is equal to this square divided by grand sum of correlation matrix divided by grand sum of correlation matrix plus grand sum of anti image 0 0.81 let us see how to calculate partlet test of capacity the formula is psi square equal to minus of n minus 1 minus 2p into 5 divided by 6 into natural logarithm of r, r is determinant and uh, degree of freedom is p into p minus 1 divided by 2, here where n is number of respondent, p is number of variables, in this we already entered the value, the number of respondent is 10. 290 and uh, number of variables 10. Determinant is nothing but m determine of correlation matrix. Enter. It gives you some value. Then I calculated split up for easy calculation 2p plus 5 minus 6 is 4.71. And uh, the psi square value is calculated with the help of this same formula. And the degree of freedom is 40 p into p minus 1 divided by 2 p into p minus p is 10 into 10 minus 1 by 2. And uh, significant level psi square distribution of psi square value into degree of freedom into cumulative part that is what is it that is probability density function we have to use so we get the zero let us compare the value of KMO test of the same data in descriptive only KMO the KMO 8.61 KMO 
that is and uh, Bartlett test of uh, sparsity 2250 481 and the degree of freedom is 45. So, in this way, KMO and Parkless test is calculated. I hope you, you understand well. Thank you for watching this video.